Grand Admiral Thrawn is one of the most popular characters in all of Star Wars. And while this anti-hero is best known for serving the Empire, there is a pretty big chance that we could see him on the theoretical good side of things within the Filoniverse. And he could even team up with another fan favorite character, Ahsoka Tano. But before we get too far into this video, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Now, let's get into today's video. The Chiss Commander Thrawn was best known for his cunning strategies in battle, his ruthlessness, tenacity, and overall class. No other Imperial commander respected their opponents enough to learn about their culture, strengths, and weaknesses as much as Thrawn did, and then use that knowledge to not only beat them in battles, but force them into submission. To defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but their history, philosophy, art. I study the art of war, work to perfect it, but you, you were forged by it. And while Thrawn did use his talents to climb the ranks in the Empire, eventually becoming a Grand Admiral, and won several battles in the name of the Emperor, his final and lasting loyalty was to himself, and even more so to the Chiss Ascendancy. And it is this loyalty that leads me to believe that within the Filoniverse, Thrawn will ultimately abandon the Empire and rejoin his original faction with the Chiss. Now, in canon, we have no idea where Thrawn is right now after his mysterious disappearance at the end of Star Wars Rebels. Whatever happens next, happens to both of us. That's the idea. However, he has been confirmed to be a recurring character in the Ahsoka show, so we know that he is at least alive. But what will his role be? Well, at first I thought that he might be in the Unknown Regions, helping organize the beginnings of the First Order, or maybe even helping Palpatine with the Final Order on Exegol. But now I have a new theory that would make Thrawn an integral part of the alternate Filoniverse canon timeline that could potentially be separate from the Disney sequel canon timeline. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the video I made about it. Anyway, but I am thinking that he will still be in the Unknown Regions, and that him and Ezra together will be fighting against the Grisk, or the canon version of the Yuuzhan Vong, basically. The Grisk are a group of sentient nomadic beings who enslave the minds and souls of their victims and force them to comply. Now obviously this threat is way more serious and way more pressing than the political squabbles of some emo teenager who is trying to be like his grandpa and a grumpy old man who is missing a few of his fingers. The Grisk are not just wanting to control the politics of the galaxy or rule from some distant planet and hope that the rest of the galaxy falls in line. No, this group wants absolute control over the will of the people. Now, of course, I think they use on Vong are cooler because, well, I don't know, maybe not cooler, but different for sure. Solely for the fact that the Vong are immune to the Force and the Grisk are not, which I think is really cool. It's a really cool concept. But either way, the Grisk are looking to make a move against the galaxy at some point, and that will most likely happen within the timeline of the Ahsoka show. I mean, Thrawn himself even said that the Grisk are a threat to both the Chiss Ascendancy and the Empire, so obviously he's aware of them, and when they do make a move, Thrawn will do everything he can to stop them from taking over the rest of the galaxy. And I think that this is going to be the main storyline within the Ahsoka show. Ahsoka is going to be looking for Thrawn, probably to find Ezra, or maybe she knows how big of a threat the Grand Admiral is, and is wanting to stop him, or bring him to justice, or I don't know, something like that. And she will eventually find him, and possibly Ezra as well, in the Unknown Regions, battling against the Grisk. Ahsoka will see the immense numbers and powers that this new enemy has, and instead of trying to bring Thrawn to justice for his crimes during the reign of the Empire, she will see the bigger picture and team up with the Chiss, knowing that working together is the only way that they can save the galaxy. The two of them, or again, maybe the three of them, if Ezra is involved, 
will fight against the invading Grisk and will do their best to prevent them from consuming the known galaxy. Also, they have to find a way to justify the terrible mistake of not having Ahsoka be involved at all in the sequel trilogy. Now, I know that some people say that she is not alive during this time period because we hear her voice at the end of uh, Rise of Skywalker, which would make sense. You know, if she's dead, then obviously she wouldn't be involved and that way she could speak to Rey from the Netherworld of the Force. But Dave Filoni has come out and said that Ahsoka is alive during the sequels. And if she's alive, then why wasn't she involved? Well, because she's busy fighting against the Grisk. Or you could use the whole alternate timeline thing where she dies to Vader and that's when the sequels happen. And if she survives, then this is when the Grisk timeline or the Filoniverse story will happen. It would just be so much easier if they just did the whole alternate timeline thing. It would clean up a lot of messes. You know, that way the sequels could still remain canon on one timeline and then the Filoniverse could be a canon on a different timeline. But the chances of this happening are slowly fading away. But it's fine. It's it's fine. Anyway, but yes, Ahsoka will find Grand Admiral Thrawn and the two of them will fight for maybe a little bit, you know, on opposing sides trying to go back and forth at each other. But this other much larger threat of the Grisk will come and they will have to put their differences aside and team up to fight them. Maybe Ezra could, you know, serve as a kind of neutral mediator type to bring both sides together. Anyway, and it would be great to see this happen. Thrawn is a villain, of course, but he is way more gray or neutral than anything. And then we have Ahsoka who left the Jedi Order and kind of fell into the gray category as well. Basically, these two fan favorite characters who are very, very good by themselves. Ahsoka is a light side user, even though she's not technically part of the Jedi Order. And then Thrawn is a great commander and military leader, even though, according to this theory, he technically is not part of the Empire. So you have these two great characters who have left their respected factions, and they can team up and give us some of the best Star Wars content ever within the Filoniverse. I don't know. I'd love to see it, and I think that it could happen. I think that there's a good chance that it could happen. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I am hoping that the Filoniverse will keep expanding and keep giving us hope that Star Wars is heading in the right direction, at least story-wise. I put my full trust in John and Dave, and I'm hoping that they can create something awesome. If you guys liked what you saw today, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Also. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love, you know, hearing all you guys' different opinions and what you guys think about my theory videos. It really helps me learn a lot about Star Wars as well. Anyway, but most importantly of all, remember to forever be a Star Wars fan.